What's going on everybody? It's Giovanni from Spy Options Trading here with a new trading video. It's the last day of January, last day of the month. Hopefully I'm able to trade in February a lot more than I traded in January. Anyways, let's get right down to it guys. Um, yes, I did place a trade. I'm going to show you that trade here in just a minute, but I do got to tell you the catch, so to speak. I recorded it, just like all my other videos. Uh, when everything was said and done, when the trade was said and done, I um, pushed stop recording and it froze up on me. I have no idea what happened. It was the um, actual software wasn't responding, and so I left it alone. Maybe it was gonna, you know, come back and whatnot, and it didn't after 10 minutes. So I had to get ready to go to work. I went to work and came back hoping that for some crazy chance it would be unfrozen. I couldn't get that lucky, unfortunately, but I do have to do a recap. Um, I gotta be, you know, any other normal YouTuber, trader, and, and, and be, you know, do the recap. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I, I feel really bad. I feel really, really bad, especially because it was, it was a very good trade in my opinion anyways. Um, the markets went up huge today, went up huge. Uh, my goodness, and, and there was no gap. There was no gap in um, SPY. Uh, pretty cool, but I got the very tail end. Basically, I was late to the party, but better late than never. But let me show you what that trade looked like. This was my trade for today. I traded SPY, of course. I purchased two uh, call options, the 269 calls that expire in four days. I bought them at 211. Sold the first one at 225 and then sold the uh, second one at 238 for combined uh, total return of, I believe, just under 10%, like 9.6, somewhere around there. And I bought at 947 my time and I traded it off of this signal here, off the uh, five minute. Far right, we have the uh, five minute, the middle, we have the one minute uh, on SPY, and then the far left, you have the actual uh, chart for the uh, call options themselves. And this was me. I didn't realize until I actually uh, looked at it for this recording. You can see right here volume. I purchased two at 211. And the first one, let's see, we sold at 954. 954, right? Somewhere around here. Darn it. I was hoping that I would be the only one, but unfortunately not. <laughs> and then I sold the um, second one at 238, almost near high of the day. How interesting is that? And like I said earlier, uh, I was late for the party, but um, I it's better late than ever, right? Spy made a huge, huge, huge move today, intraday. That's the best kind. We don't like it when it uh, creates a gap and it doesn't move. That's terrible. But here it is in a nutshell purchased right here at the end of this candle went sideways for a little bit before it started blowing back up i actually bought in you can't tell because i didn't you can't see the recording but i actually bought in before the signal actually showed up per um everything that i was looking at uh the criteria was almost there and i jumped again a little bit um you know good or bad i'm not sure i need to practice some more patience that's all i can think um that comes of that so there you go guys that is what i wanted to show you is today's um today's trade yeah absolutely and yes this is my account it's not just a screenshot not just a screenshot uh like most people like to do this is my actual uh account here so there you go there's that trade guys i'm hoping uh that i can figure out the uh, bug whatever is happening to that software or maybe i can update it or whatnot but i've been talking a lot to my best friend which is basically basically my brother especially since he's been uh day trading a lot more <clears throat> and we're two totally different traders he is definitely uh taking full advantage of the actual strategy and the signals pretty cool um but we're totally two different traders He's, you know, risk it kind of guy, risk it to get the biscuit kind of thing. And I'm a very conservative trader. I know that all my viewers and subscribers know that from all of my videos, but 
Um, just pretty interesting stuff how psychology works. And my goodness, this idea about scaling out, um, it's doing wonders in my eyes, in my opinion, it's doing wonders for my trading. It's something that can be scalable. And that's the coolest part. You can do that with as little as two options or 2,000 options if, if you really want to. Um, nice short and sweet video here today. I apologize for not actually having a recording. I, I It was a really good recording. I know um, it's terrible for me to say, but just take my word for it. It was a really good recording. I was commenting a lot, but unfortunately, it didn't come to pass. And one last thing that I want to put it out there. If you haven't noticed, VXX no longer exists. Uh, what took its place is VXXB, B as in boy, VXXB. Basically, it's it's the same thing as VXX, uh, just with a couple of uh, minor things. And, and the only reason why I was able to actually realize that is I noticed in one of my indicators, um, this was, uh, I believe, Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember when, one of my indicators wasn't moving. Um, and I was like, what, what, what's going on? Maybe it was a glitch. The second day, it still wasn't moving. Finally, I got a hold of uh, TD Ameritrade. Yes, they told me that it no longer exists. And I did a little bit of research and I came up with VXXB, guys. So just FI, FYI for you guys. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I apologize greatly for the recording issues again. I'll uh, do better next time, guys. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below. Like and share my videos. I would greatly appreciate it. Comment down below what you thought about uh, today's video, about today's trade. Uh, tell me what you made money on, what you lost money on. I always like to hear from my subscribers and my viewers. See you guys next time.